What's up guys? Uh, sitting here just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. I just got unloaded and now I'm waiting for my next load to come through. Um, but while I waited, I just wanted to make a short video and talk to you guys about an article I read at Corporate Wellness Magazine. Um, pretty much it just says that um, there's over 7 million truck drivers in the U.S. And everybody knows, I mean they could take a pretty good guess that being a truck driver is one of the most unhealthy professions that there are. Um, but it says that average life expectancy is only 61 years old for a truck driver. That's crazy. That means I'm going to work my ass off my whole life and I'm not even going to make it to retirement. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that uh, statistic very well. The, the National Institute of Health shows that um, the national average for obesity is 26.7% in the U.S. So this article, it, it was written about uh, in 2015. So the numbers might be a little bit different you know, from today, but it's the most recent one I could find. Um, but 26.7% the national average for obesity, 50% of truck drivers are obese. Um, the prevalence of diabetes is 50% higher. The national average of hypertension or prehypertension in the U.S. is 58.3%, which is terrible. 87% of truck drivers have hypertension or pre-hypertension. That's garbage. We got to change that. 54% uh, of drivers smoke compared to 21% of the national average. And 49% of the national average says that they exercise regularly. Well, that's okay, but I mean, we could be a lot better with that as well. But only 8% of truck drivers say that they get exercise on a regular basis. Now, these numbers to me are garbage I mean we've got to change them and it all starts with the person that's watching this video now nobody else can make the decision for you you've got to be the one that says hey I don't want to live this way anymore um, you know if, if you're struggling with high blood pressure or, or um, you know anything like that there is ways that we can bring that down and I know because I've done it myself I was in you know the same position as far as having high blood pressure I was way overweight and I made the decision that you know what I don't want to live my life like this anymore I don't want to get out of breath doing everything and uh, so that's when I, I started working out and um, you know I'll make another video later of you know giving you my background but um, I'm just saying we've got to do something about this uh, drivers you know even though we're not home all the time we can still get gym memberships I got two gym memberships and I go to the gym four to five nights a week and the thing about it I'm not a big fan of Planet Fitness but I have a membership there and I go there all the time because it's cheap and they are everywhere everywhere I park I can pull up at least three Planet Fitness locations within 10 miles from where I'm at so I mean that's why you know I say there's no excuse it's 10 bucks a month you can get a membership there and I mean you know some people say oh well, I can't afford a membership that's two dollars and fifty cents a week you know I'm pretty sure you can swing it so you know we uh, we got to do something about these numbers I'm gonna make a whole bunch of videos showing you guys um, some things that I do to stay in shape over the road and um, I'm working on a series of videos now that's uh, for people who just don't want to go to a gym. They they don't like the atmosphere of a gym and have no desire to go. So I'm working on some videos now that um, show you guys things that you could do at a truck stop or you know rest area or wherever that requires no special equipment. And I'm going to show you guys ways to stay in shape that way. So um, I just wanted to show you guys these statistics and just kind of give you guys an idea you know we've got to change these numbers and it all starts like I said with you uh, you've got to make the decision and you've got to be willing to put forth a little bit of effort into your day and it's gonna affect you overall you know the more healthier we get as an industry the lower our insurance rates will be um, and the longer we'll live we'll stick around for our family we'll make it past 61 years old and um, yeah, so 
you know, stay tuned. Keep watching my videos. I'm going to keep posting more. Um, if there's anything that you would like to see, um, you know, just uh, write it in the comment section. Or um, if there's anything you'd like to ask me, you know, feel free to do that. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And uh, until the next video, see you guys later.